The topic of this video is factorising trinomials of the form x squared plus mx plus c. Trinomials are algebraic expressions with three terms in them. They're often seen as uh, things like quadratics that you may have seen before, where we have various powers of a variable like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b and c are just numbers and x is a variable. Now such trinomials, such expressions, are harder to factorise than two term expressions because of the varying powers of x that you see in there. Let's look at this example. If we expand out x plus 2 times x plus 3, like this, we get x squared plus 3x and then plus 2x plus 6 or x squared plus 5x plus 6. We can see that x squared plus 5x plus 6 must be able to be factored into x plus 2, x plus 3. But the question then is, how do we actually go about it? How do we get back from this expanded form into the factorised form? Well, that's what this video is all about. One method that we can use to go about this for factorising certain trinomials is as follows. We use the fact that x plus a, x plus b expands to this form, x squared plus a plus bx plus a times b, to get us from this point back to the factored form. So the problem that we're left with is figuring out what these numbers a and b are for any specific trinomial that we're given. So let's have a look. If we want to solve for a and b in our example x squared plus 5x plus 6, we need two numbers that will add to give 5 because we want a plus b to be equal to 5 and those same two numbers to multiply together to give 6 because we want a b to be equal to 6. So let's look at numbers that multiply to give 6 first of all. There's two possibilities there, a b equal to 6. We could have 6 times 1 or 1 times 6 if you like or we could have 2 times 3 or 3 times 2. So the factors there are 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. But we also want those same two numbers to add up to give 5. Now, what are the possibilities here? 1 and 6 add up to give 7. 2 and 3, on the other hand, do add up to give 5. So it looks like it's 2 and 3 that we want. So this means that we should be able to write x squared plus 5x plus 6 as, in this form, x squared plus 2 plus 3x, and then 2 times 3. So let's check if it works. If we expand it out, we can find that it is going to give us the same result. But let's look at it slightly differently to try to factor it. I'll expand to give this. Now I'm trying to regroup things. I notice in my first two terms I've got a factor of x, and I'm left with x plus 2. And then in the second two terms, we've also got a 3 as a common factor, and then x plus 2 again is left over. Now, looking at this one, we can see that we've got common factors in these two new terms of x plus 2. So we can factor that out, x plus 2, and we're left with an x in the first term, and plus 3 from the second. So you can see that we've got it together to give us the factorised form of x plus 2, x plus 3. That's the same as x squared plus 5x plus 6, and we've achieved what we were looking at in the previous previous slide, figuring out how to get from x squared plus 5x plus 6 to the factorised form. Let's have a look at it in some examples. Pause the video if you like and see if you can try these out for yourself, and then come back and join me in a minute. OK, so remember that what we're trying to do is find two numbers, a and b, to put in this factorised form, such that the sum of a and b is the coefficient of x, and the product of a and b is the constant on the end. So in our first example here, that means we want a plus b to be equal to 8, and a times b equal to minus 9. Let's look at the factor pairs for a, b equal to minus 9. Factors of minus 9 could be minus 9 and 1, 1 and minus 9, uh, sorry, minus 1 and 9, and 3 and minus 3. 
then we need to think which of these factor pairs could add to give us 8. Minus 9 and 1 adds to give minus 8. That's not good enough. Minus 1 and 9, that adds to give 8, so that's good. Uh, 3 and minus 3 gives 0, so that's no good. So it looks like we want these to be our a and b. Now in these kinds of tri trinomials where the coefficient of x squared is 1, it doesn't matter which we pick to be which. So we can simply write down x squared plus 8x minus 9 is equal to x plus a, in this case a is minus 1, and x plus b, where b is in this case 9. So we get x minus 1, x plus 9. And of course you can check that again by expanding out the brackets, and you should get x squared plus 9x minus x to give 8x, and finally minus 9. Our second example is x squared plus 12x plus 36. And again, we want a plus b to be equal to 12, and a times b to be equal to 36. Possible factor pairs of 36 would be 1 and 36, and the reverse, 2 and 18, 3 and 6, 4 and 9, sorry, 3 and 12, and 6 and 6. Now out of these pairs of factors, we need to choose the pair which can add to give 12. And of course, as you can see, it must be 6 and 6. So we then go ahead and put that together. x squared plus 12x plus 36 is equal to x plus a, or 6 in this case, and x plus b, which is again 6. And if you like, you can write that as x plus 6, all squared. And that's our factorised form. OK, so in this video we've introduced trinomial expressions and specific kinds of trinomials, namely the quadratics of the form x squared plus mx plus c. And we looked at how to factor those in the form x plus a, x plus b, and a method for doing that.